everybody, today I'm going to be doing a book review for you of The Portrait of Lady by Henry James. My edition is the Oxford World Classics edition as has 628 pages. And really small text. Despite the minuteness of the text, I actually whizzed through this quite quickly because I thoroughly enjoyed it and I've been talking to several people about this book so I decided to do a full review of it. So this book is about a young 23 year old American woman called Isabel. She comes over from America to England to visit her aunt and uncle and to meet her cousin for the first time. Here in England she also meets several suitors. Um, she is a woman who knows her own mind and she declines suitors um, and it's kind of following on her life um, within kind of the matrimony world. Now I really enjoyed this book and I think some of the reasons why I really enjoyed this book is probably better done by quoting from the book itself. So one of the aspects of the book that I really enjoyed was Isabel's kind of unwillingness to marry at the beginning. She had her own thoughts and her own feelings on marriage and I thought it was just brilliant and ingenious and almost unusual of the 1800s of what society expects of her. But I think a brilliant quote from the book really uh, kind of shows you the attitude of Isabel at this time. Most women did with themselves nothing at all. They waited in attitudes more or less gratefully passive for a man to come that way and furnish them with a destiny. Isabel's originality was that she gave one an impression of having intentions of her own. I thought that was brilliant. I thought it was ingenious writing that Isabel has this intentions of, oh, well, I'll marry if I want to, but I don't want to marry at the moment, so I'm not going to marry you because you're not perfect. And that's the genius of Isabel. And I love that. She's, she's brilliant. However, my favourite actual quote from the book itself was a book that's kind of Isabel reflecting upon society. Um, someone has just commented on her on the way she dresses and this is how she's replied. My clothes may express the dressmaker, but they don't express me. To begin with, it's not my own choice that I wear them. They're imposed upon me by society. So Isabel kind of recognises what is, you know, supposed to happen in society, what is expected of her as a young woman. She's expected to dress well, she's expected to have good manners, to be ladylike and of course to marry. And I just, I thought the writing was, was brilliant and really reflects Isabel's character. When I've been talking to people about this book and people have said they've read it but they were a bit unsure about the ending or they liked the book but were disappointed with the ending, for me, I, I think I read it, I put it down and I was just like, oh, I see what people mean. But then I thought, hold on, when is this written? This is written in the 1800s, the late 1800s. I was thinking, for me, the ending is probably more realistic. I think if this book was written in contemporary society, you know, it wouldn't be up to scratch. The ending just, it wouldn't happen. But I think it kind of works. If you're going to read this, just understand that the book is, I think, is, is a realistic reflection of the 1800s. But that's why I like it. So that is my review of The Portrait of Lady. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you'd like to see more videos from myself, please click the subscribe button down below. I'd love to hear all your comments um, if you've read this or if you're interested in reading it. And I shall see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.